First off, I want to wish you a happy new year. For me, 2023 was heavily influenced by AI. Never in my life have I seen something as powerful and amazing as AI. It has really made a huge impression on me over the last year. This interest in AI has me really fired up about the future. But more specifically, the interplay of AI and the land development industry. In this presentation, we're going to cover the following main topics. Focused AI. What is AI? The land development process. An example of the future use of AI in the form of due diligence. Another example of the future use of AI in the form of the comment response matrix. And another example of the future use of AI in the form of government assistance. Future winners. Many people on social media are afraid of AI and often visualize the Terminator scenario where the AI is a detrimental force for society at large. But I believe that AI itself is benign and actually extremely useful to anyone who opts to use it. The winners of the future marketplace will be the companies and entrepreneurs who know how to leverage the power of AI in their industry, including land development. Focused Internet. Before we start talking about artificial intelligence, I want us to take a moment to pause and look back at technology from the past. In the 1990s, the internet had come out and everyone was ranting and raving about how great it was. It was the first time that we had connected commuters all over the world. There was a large amount of fervor both in the markets and in society at large about how big this thing would be. But if we look back at the internet in the 1990s, it was in a very raw form. The internet back then was very general. Over well, the last few decades since the 1990s, many entrepreneurs took a stab at the internet to see if they could uncover new marketplaces. With the hindsight of living through the boom and bust cycles of the internet in the 2000s, we can see that the internet has evolved in my opinion into a different form the internet has evolved in a very focused form as an example netflix is part of the internet but it is a very focused form of the internet it doesn't look at a whole bunch of random data it looks only at movies and shows but the most important point is to make that the internet of the 90s was very raw and had a lot of data but what ended up happening was that the raw data was organized and specified in a very specific way for the people to be able to use it as far as i see ai has been recently popularized this year 2023 with applications such as chat gpt and dolly 3 which have proven to be impressive in their capabilities nevertheless Similar to the 1990s, where internet was in a very raw form, I believe that AI is also in a very general raw form. However, in the next few years, AI will become more specialized for more specific purposes and industries, which is why I am standing in front of you today as a land development professional to ask you the question, how is AI going to be used in land development? in the next few years. What is AI? Before I do a presentation on explaining how AI can contribute to land development, I want to take a moment to explain from first principle what AI is exactly. From my perspective and my research this year on this topic, AI is in a very simple way, the technology of taking the human brain cell digitizing it and putting it putting all of written content books newspapers scientific papers blogs through it in a very general way what happened is that this artificial brain reviews all the world's phrases and concepts and compares it with all the 
the other concept it has reviewed in the past and is able to develop a general framework or ideas of what those things are all about in the form of a model to which I may add is very small in size in terms of gigabytes. So for instance, you can put a Shakespeare book into the AI and ask the AI what the theme of that book is. The AI will then put the question through the model and give you an, a generally accurate statement summarizing the theme of Romeo and Juliet, for example. More importantly though, it works very similar to the human mind. However, it is a mind that is in a digital form. With this point of view, we can say that co the cognitive capacity of the human race has just gone up by a thousand X. Because these AI models have experienced a lot of written documentations, thousands of years more than any individual human could ever read in their lifetimes. So if you visualize it, you could say that we have the brain that are the size of small footballs, but an AI has a brain the size of a building. The beauty and magic is that it, the beauty and magic that is occurring right now is that each person who has a Google account can utilize the system in an instantaneous way. We are now linked to brains that are the size of buildings. Land development process. So the next step is to ask the question, Michael, what the heck does this have to do with land development? I'm going to start to answer that question by saying that the process of land develop development is incredibly cognitively demanding. No one person is able to get a subdivision construction by themselves. It takes a concerted effort of many people and companies to bring a development vision into life. Let's just look at a list of things that are involved in getting a raw piece of land into a residential subdivision. The process starts with land opportunity discovery and then due diligence, then land acquisition. And after that, the process is complete. The process moves to the land purchase. Then after that, the purchase, there is a land preparation step to set up the land for development. This includes land titles absolute, archaeological reports. After land preparation there is the beginning of the planning process in the form of a pre-consultation meeting. Then there is a planning submission. Then after that, the planning submission, there is a public meeting. Then an ongoing discussion with the municipality and regulatory staff to obtain council approval for your piece of land. Once you secure your approval, you're not done. You have to start clearing registration conditions and actually begin alteration, site alteration permits on your site to get your site ready for earthwork servicing and road construction. The next step is design and construction. In the meantime, a subdivision agreement is drafted and executed by the municipality and the developer. After that step, there is the registration process, which involves several other components. Typically, draft plan conditions involve sometimes hundreds of conditions, and, and sometimes those conditions are easy to clear and boilerplate, but sometimes one specific condition is a whole project in and of itself. After that, a registration package is prepared and forwarded to the city, ultimately so that land sales can close when registration occurs. But you're not then but you're not done there. Even after that you still need to obtain your security from the city. And that is done by rectifying any issues that the city may have with your development. After that, actual building construction starts, which is a whole other process in and of itself. Repeated process. Wow, just look at that. So in that last segment, I briefly, I briefly described the entire process of land development, which as you can see is an incredible amount of work and certainly involves the help of engineers, archaeologists, environmentalists, planners, surveyors, lawyers, 
and other specialized consultants and contractors needed to contribute to the completion of each identified development step. What is great about it is that this process is generally the same for all developments. As such, because it is a repeatable process, a business can be built around it to develop an efficiency for, say, the registration part of the development process. Humans tend to shy away from large amounts of tedious work. However, AI can start, can take on and execute large tasks without complaining. All they need is the correct data and the empirical knowledge of successful de developments to output the data correctly. With that said, we can start thinking about using AI to help us through all the identified processes just listed. So let's go over to a few examples in this as examples. Comment matrix. Because AI is a reasoning engine, it is not afraid to do a lot of work. What often happens on development application is that the regulators make the feedback they provide to on a development hard to understand. So I really see AI as a very useful technology in responding to comments, especially if it has the response data of the past successful applications. In this case, if you plug in comments from the city into an AI comment response matrix, the AI can develop 10 different and innovative ways to respond to those comments through a comment response matrix. The AI can develop these things very easily. This can save an, an enormous amount of work on the developer and consultant end of things. AI due diligence. I am interested in knowing about how we can use AI at the due diligence stage of the land development process. In my imagination of this system, you are viewing a map website that is AI powered and you click on a property for sale. The AI is able to generate a compelling proposed land use, a land development schedule, a revenue, a revenue range, and estimated ROI for any selected piece of land. Further, upon clicking on the piece of land, the website could generate a high quality due diligence report because it is connected to many useful databases that help it complete its inquiry. To do this, we need to load the AI with a zoning map, an official plan map, and an up-to-date zoning bylaw. Then we create an output field within the due diligence form that describes how amenable the current piece of land is to a proposed land use such as residential development. The end product being a response field that says yay or nay on whether a land is developable based on its review of the zoning bylaw and map. Additionally, this system would be more valuable, valuable if we connected the AI system to TerraNet to obtain key legal information on the land, such as easements, surrounding purchasing price, parcel geometry, and other material pieces of information. Of course, when it comes to due diligence, there are many other fields that need to come into play, such as servicing, environmental, archaeological, etc. So if we connect the AI to a bunch of database, databases within the city, it would even be able to generate even a rough development boundary on the subject land as part of the due diligence report. With this level of quality data, the AI will be able to automatically fill out a due diligence form with many fields. This information will be incredibly useful and valuable to any developer and builder in the area. Government assistance. People often complain that land development is a very slow process, and it is, because being someone who has worked on the other side of the land development industry for the city, I understood why that was the case. When a development team makes a submission, there is a team of professionals providing those documents to the city. But what is lesser known is that on the regular side, there is a limited amount of people that need to read, interpret, and provide comments on those documents. This is why I believe a focused AI system can help regulators resolve this bottleneck. What if developers fed all submission documents into an AI website 
that had all the standards slash requirements in its repository and could automatically within days tell the developers which part of the submission meets or doesn't meet their standard requirements. Given that the system would have gone through many subdivisions and site plan before, it would provide you, the developer, with relevant information that would be clear and easy to deal with, thereby greatly improving the regulator's speed in processing development applications at different stages. Just that is a high impact business idea in and of itself. Land Development Future I want to challenge you to consider what land development will look like in 50 years. Will it take five years for a subdivision to be approved or can it take weeks? I believe that things will get faster over time and AI could play a big role in that. Imagine a future where a home builder can focus on building homes and nothing more and the development process is as easy as ordering an item from Amazon. Do you think that is possible? Let's find out. Conclusion. In conclusion, now that we know that every person has access to a brain and a brain engine, as intelligent modern developers, we should start thinking about how to leverage those technologies to help our development dreams come to life. I'm curious to know what you think. Can you think of another way AI can be used in the land development process? Today we mentioned 10 or 20 different steps in the land development process. I believe that AI can impact each and every one of those steps. And remember, it is not rocket science. It's just land development. Thank you for your time. Please feel free to ask questions and leave a comment.